We are at the Charles de Gaulle airport awaiting our flight to Tromsø, Norway. Picked up some macaroons for some in-flight snacks. After a three hour flight, we arrived in Tromsø. Since this was our second time in Norway, we definitely had to stop by the local Kiwi Mart and pick up some more snacks and drinks. We explored the city for a little bit as we made our way towards the hotel. We arrived at the Scandic Grand Tromsø Hotel. Pros, free breakfast buffet and it was a nice way to save some money on the trip. Cons, from 10pm till 4am there was a bar attached to the hotel that was playing loud ass music all night. Literally could not sleep. What kind of hotel actively prevents people from getting a good night's sleep? For our first dinner in Tromsø, we ate at a restaurant called Skiri. I ordered the reindeer burger and my girlfriend ordered the reindeer steak. Taste was decent, although pricey. Total cost of the meal was over $80. 7 out of 10. Waking up in the mid-afternoon the next day, we explored the city during the daytime. For our midday lunch, we made a reservation at Tapas Tromsø AS. The only pro. Nice interior, but the interior shouldn't be the only good thing about a restaurant. The cons. The food was incredibly overpriced and the portion sizes was tiny. We could hear the owner arguing with the chefs in the kitchen, which negatively affected the overall vibes. We also had to wait over an hour for our food. 1 out of 10. So a big reason we came to Tromsø was to see the Northern Lights. There's actually a tourist activity called Northern Lights Chasing. Honestly though, there's a lot of exaggerated hype surrounding the Northern Lights, which I will explain in more detail later in the video. We purchased a Northern Lights tour with a company called The Wandering Owl. This lady insisted that they were using some advanced app to track the Northern Lights in real time. Long story short, it was a two hour drive with a one hour wait at a gas station, then two hours of sitting around waiting for the Northern Lights to appear. We did not see the Northern Lights that night. Then it was another two hour drive back to Tromsø. Just felt like a waste of time and money. The first full day in Tromsø left a lot to be desired, but today was a new day and hopefully the best of outcomes. We purchased the tour outing to visit the tribal grounds of the local indigenous people, the Sami tribe. This felt like a first-hand opportunity to gain more insight in the local tribal culture. Howdy! Howdy! My name is Johan and me and my family, we are doing the reindeer herding in this area. This is like our land. And we belong to the Sami people. Have you heard about the Sami? Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> A large part of the activities was participating in reindeer feeding. The reindeer were very gentle and very happy to see us because they knew they were getting a big meal. Oh, this guy wants some. Oh, damn, look at those antlers. Hey, buddy. Oh, they got tags in their ears, too. <laughs> After providing free labor to feed the reindeers, we went back inside the teepee to warm up. After all the tourists have gathered inside the teepee, we were given some reindeer soup. It was okay, kinda heavy to digest, but I suppose it helps when living in a very cold place like Tromsø. The tribal chief, Johan, then shared some stories regarding the history of the Sami people. The Sami people were heavily oppressed by the Norwegian government. They really had to fight for their rights. Free Sami. Johan then performed a ritualistic tribal song for the crowd. The crowd also participated in singing the Sami language as well. A 
Eventually, it was time to say our goodbyes and proceed onwards towards the next activities for the evening. Thank you! Back at the city center of Tromso, we visited the Sami tribe gift shop and browsed around. For dinner, we wanted to get some Japanese style sushi. So we decided to check out Suvi, which was right across the street from our hotel. The interior was nice, but unfortunately, they were fully booked for Norwegian Mother's Day. So we decided to order takeout and eat in our hotel room. We ordered two chef specials, they were about $40 each for a total of about $80. Pricey? Yes, but it tasted pretty good. It was awesome to eat Japanese style sushi with the fish sourced directly from the Norwegian Sea. After that shit show that was at Tapas restaurant from earlier today, this was definitely an upgrade. 9 out of 10. So the evening before, we were unable to see the Northern Lights. My girl was so adamant about seeing it that we booked another Northern Lights chasing tour. This time we went with a company called Rodu Fjord Cruise and scheduled a boat ride to see the Northern Lights. Hi. We're on a boat. So really early on the boat ride, Kyungi was able to locate some northern lights in the distance and we got some quick and early pictures. It felt like catching a really big fish early on a fishing trip. As we got farther away from the city, it became really difficult to get video because of how dark the sky was and how little lighting was available. So let's talk about the exaggerated hype surrounding the northern lights that exists in social media and the content creation scene. When you actually look at the northern lights in reality, it literally looks like dark cloud formations in the sky. That in itself might be impressive, but it doesn't exactly make for the most photo ops. Those bright green hues that are projected in the image is thanks to setting your cell phone's camera settings to night mode, using ambient lighting from your secondary cell phone, and a lot of post-processing from your cell phone's camera app. All of this we had to figure out on the fly because I really wanted to obtain the memories of seeing the Northern Lights with the person I love. We met some new friends named Arian and Zaha who helped us take some good photos. Fortunately, there was a lot of dark cloud formations that night. The company claimed that they used satellites to track the location of these dark cloud formations. I was happy to share this experience with my love. Got some lovely photos that I will cherish forever. Made it back to land and it was time to go back to the hotel and rest. The next day, we took our flight back to Paris. Overall, Tromso was all right. Definitely a tourist trap, but we made some good memories. Adios, adios, adios.